we are discussing about gate 2001 and this question is related to electronics look at the tra circuit diagram the transistor shunt regulator circuit is shown has a regulated output voltage of 10 volts when the input varies from 20 to 30 volts the relevant parameters for the zener diode and transistor are vz zener voltage is 9.5 volts vbe base to emitter voltage 0.3 volts and beta value is 99 neglect the current flowing through rb then the maximum power dissipated in the zener diode is zener diode and transistor r so output voltage v naught is given as 10 volts okay v naught is 10 volts and v input is 20 to 30 volts if it is changing from 20 to 30 also output is constant at 10 volts okay by that time we are going to calculate maximum power dissipation in zener diode as well as transistor so remember that one it is asking about the maximum power dissipation maximum power dissipation is nothing but whenever there is a maximum current and maximum voltages are going to be possible okay for a transistor output side is nothing but it is connected 10 volts which is constant so there is no change in this one only the currents current flowing through this one transistor and zener diode will be maximum whenever you are applying maximum voltage so we will always assume that one v input is going to be connected at 30 volts whenever the input is maximum we can expect maximum currents are flowing so that we are expecting the we are getting the maximum power dissipation that's the only simple thing so v input is 30 volts we are not taking care of 20 or in between values okay next and current flowing through rb is going to be zero this is rb resistor current flowing through this one is given as zero whenever current flowing through it is zero the current flowing through base of this transistor is ib which is also equal to iz okay so ib will become iz because the same current whatever the current flowing through is not there, that will also flow through this base of transistor and since the transistor is in active region ic is equal to ic is equal to beta times of ib ib is nothing but we can write as iz so we can write ic is equal to beta times of iz that is nothing but 99 times of iz so total current flowing through this 20 ohms total current flowing through this 20 ohms is assume i is equal to this is the value as i i is nothing but current flowing through 20 ohms that is nothing but iz plus 99iz so which is nothing but i is equal to 100iz so can you write the 100iz value this can be written as i is equal to 100 iz is equal to voltage drop across that resistor divided by resistor value voltage drop across this one is nothing but one end is connected 30 volts and the other end is connected at v naught because both are going to be same there is no other element is present so v naught whatever the 10 volts that is also appear over here so voltage difference is nothing but 30 minus 10 divided by 20 ohms so by that time we can write the i value as i value which is nothing but 100 times of iz which is 20 by 20 which is nothing but 1 ampere so from this one iz value can be known as 1 by 100 1 by 100 is nothing but 10 milliamperes <coughs> 1 by 100 is nothing but 10 milliamperes iz value is 10 milliamperes and IC value collector current value is nothing but 99 times of 99 times of IZ that is 99 into 10 is 990 which is nothing but 0.99 mil 0.99 amperes okay 0.99 amperes now we are going to calculate maximum power dissipation across a transistor maximum power dissipation is always occurs across collector based young collector emitter side so p transistor maximum power dissipation pd maximum power dissipation across transistor is nothing but ic into vce 
IC is nothing but 0.99 amperes into VCE is nothing but V0. VCE is nothing but V0. V0 is nothing but 10 volts. Because the transistor is operating with Q cent point. That is Q cent point is nothing but operating point. It is nothing but VCE comma IC. Those are the operating currents and operating voltages. The multiplication of that one is nothing but power dissipation taking place. So IC into VCE, IC value is 0.99 amperes, VCE is 10 volts. 0.99 into 10 is nothing but 9.9. .9. So the value for this one, P0 transistor, maximum power dissipation of transistor is nothing but 9.9 .9 watts. Whereas maximum power dissipation across Zener diode is nothing but <coughs> IZ multiplied by VZ. So the Zener Zener current whenever the input is 30 volts, the Zener current is defined as 10 milliamperes. So this is 10 milliamperes multiplied by VZ is nothing but 9.5 volts. So this will be given as 9.5 into 10, which is nothing but 95, 95 milliwatts. So Zener diode maximum power dissipation is 95 milliwatts and transistor maximum power dissipation is 9.9 .9 watts so the right answer for this one is c pz zener diode is 95 millivolts milliwatts and pt transistor is 9.9 .9 watts thank you